The Curse of the Perfectionist. Good morning. I generally don't do these uh, first thing in the morning, but I have, I have to structure my days in a certain way to get everything done. So, The Curse of the Perfectionist. This has plagued me for, for as long as I've been doing this, honestly. Um, the Perfectionist suffers from a lack of confidence. And it's a, uh, it's a deep-rooted lack of confidence. They're, they're not even unaware of it. You know, and I, when I say they, I'm including me. It disguises itself as a high standard. And on some level or another, you, you, you do have a, you, you, you are holding yourself to a certain standard. You do want it to be as close to what you imagine perfection to be as it can be. But it can become destructive. It starts to work against you. I used to approach recording with this with the perfection standard, but not having a particular outcome in mind, more of I'll know it's I'll know it's it when I hear it. That's kind of crazy. Because you could have seven diff several different other versions of it that would suffice. But you ha you're waiting just to get this. And eventually you get that right? That vision of what it's supposed to be. But if you would have stepped to the plate with that in mind, you, you understand, you probably would have got that done a lot quicker. And also what begins to happen is when you, when you're dealing with perfectionism, what happens is you're stepping to the plate and automatically your mindset is, I'm going for this. Why are you going for anything? As soon as you assume I'm going, you have already said to yourself, I don't have this. I have to try to get this. So you have now just basically defeated yourself before you even started. Now here you are trying to get the thing that you do not have. I've been on stages I've torn down stages, venues filled with people. I've gotten on uh, radio, you know, where you rap on the spot over a beat. Kill it instantaneously, no thought. Ciphers, haven't done ciphers in a long time, but you get where I'm going with it. I could rap at the drop of a dime. But when it came to recording, I had this idea of what the perfect take what the perfect take was. And when moving forward with that idea, not only did I not get the perfect take, I would fail to get any take. And it would take months and years and uh, this ridiculous amount of time to get things done because I had subconsciously or in a, inadvertently uh, com convinced myself, I have, uh, let me, well, I want to word this quick. I subconsciously, inadvertently, inadvertently, I, however the fuck I'm supposed to say that, convince myself that I don't have this, okay? Not, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, I didn't realize that this is what I was doing. That's the curse of perfectionism, right? The, the, the appropriate approach, I feel like I'm rapping the appropriate approach, uh, would be, you know you have it. Get it out. You don't think about talking. You just talk.
I can rap. I know how to rap. Can rap at the drop of a dime. What am I trying to do? I don't try to walk. I know I know how to walk. But you know, if I were to concentrate on how to walk, I bet you slowly but surely, I fuck up walking. That's the, that's the, the, the curse of the, the perfectionist. It becomes destructive. It, it's, uh, it's, 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 uh, you know, where it, 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 it removes you from doing what you naturally do with ease. You have now made something that is easy, complicated. And often what can happen too is you're going to lose of the feel of it just being very, you're going to lose the natural feel, the feel of it being loose and the feel of being, it's over concentrated. Confidence as when you can lay it down, actually see the flaw. The flaws are very prevalent. Everybody can see the flaw. But you actually like it. And you're happy with it. And it even adds like some kind of character or flavor. But <laughs> that takes a certain level of comfortability. Comfortability comes with the Comfortability and confidence, are they go hand in hand. You know, so it's like... That's the trick. That's the key. You know what I'm saying? Like to get to that place. Because other than that, man, per perfectionism is, is a form of OCD. It's just neuroticism. It's not, it is a problem. With that said, I want to make a commitment. I want to commit to you that from this point on, and I'm scared as I make this commitment because I'm trying to, I'm hoping I can fit this in my day. But if, if I'm not full of shit, which I don't believe I am, I should be able to record from this point on a song a day. As long as I am not succumbing to the mental disease that is perfectionism, I should be able to record a song a day. The, okay, so perfectionism can get in the way. The other thing that can get in the way is a crammed schedule, but it shouldn't even take me that long. So a song a day should be more than doable. Now, I have done a video a day. There have been days where I didn't get the video out until like, uh, you know, two, three in the morning. So it, it like, you know, maybe it might show like register as I skip the day because, you know, after midnight or something like that. But for the most part, I have gotten out a video a day. I know it was not necessary to do a video a day. I think I put out more videos. I can put out a video quicker than people can watch them. But it, 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 it was a commitment. It was to show myself that I could do something, set out to do something, stick to it, and also get myself into the habit of knowing, uh, teaching myself that to apply the same, uh, I almost want to say, I don't know if the word is stringent, but to apply the same uncompromisable, non-negotiable uh, structure in my life where it's kind of like, no, everything is falling apart in your life, right? So it'll seem on a particular day, the walls are closing in, issues coming at you from every which, every in which way, rise above it, get the thing done, rise above it. Now, if I could get, if I can get the thing done on these kind of days, imagine what I can do on a good day. That, that's the whole purpose of the one a day video. 
It's not because I think like I have to produce one a day. I, I it's too much. It's too much. Like I guarantee my viewers are behind. Le 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 comment. You know what I'm saying? If you are, you know, maybe there's a a, a few that are that they manage to watch every day. But I, there are definitely people that are that are behind. So I put out a video quicker than a viewer can watch it. But that's that's for, th that's the reason because it it, it teaches me a a, a non-negotiable commit like to to honor a non-negotiable commitment. Like all of this shit is going wrong. It's like well then you better do it earlier in the day before. Some shit goes wrong and takes you off track. Like, we're going to adjust and adapt and we're going to get it done. Like, there are some core principles that have to be implemented in every single thing we do. And this is how we are going to be successful in life. You know, I keep coming back to, these, to, to that topic because that's the journey that I'm on and I... You know, I'm taking you guys with me as, as I'm on that journey. But uh, so that's that's the reason for the one a day videos. Now, I, I don't see any reason why I can't do one a day songs. And, uh, you know, so it's, it's, it's a matter of schedule and it's a matter of breaking the mental disease that is perfectionism. See you on the next one.